as they race inside the final furlong and Alcohol Free came to take it up from November. Mother Earth stays on late, but it's Alcohol Free that has kicked away in the hands of Ashi Murphy and wins the coronation stake. Welcome to our horse racing and I suppose that's what makes it so exciting. Brilliant for Andrew Boulding and Parkhouse Stables. Three Royal Ascot winners for them. Uh, I'm over the moon for them. We've had such high expectations and, and looking forward to this meeting so much. We had a look, you know, plenty of horses to run here and you sort of think, well, one winner we really should be having with the number of horses we've got. Two winners is fantastic, but three's, you know, that's cloud nine. Dragon Symbol and Campanelli, they have it between them. Dragon Symbol on the near side, on the far side, Campanelli trying to repeat last year's Queen Mary win. She's digging deep. Campanelli and Dragon Symbol, they pass the post together. Well, winning at Ascot, no matter how you get there, is special. You know, it's, uh, these, these memories, especially with my children here. My children, if it wasn't for Ascot, they'd be going to community college. And now they're my oldest son that started with his ears down on the bottom. And he's heading into law school here in August. I'm very proud of all of them. And racing up towards the line, Alan Kerr from Tasman Bay. What a great attitude this colt has got. Alan Kerr follows up his classic trial win at Sandown in the King Edward the Seventh Stakes. Yeah, I mean, look, he's, he stayed a mile and a half on, on soft ground extremely well there. And, and um, I've, I've no doubt William has some fancy ideas for him. Um, and, I, and I look forward to hearing what they are when he's going to ride out. As they race inside the final furlong, Sandrine from Hello You. Oskula doing OK on the near side from Prettiest, but it's Sandrine that gallops clear to win the Albany. So pleased and so pleased for Kirsten and all the, the team at Lam, Lamways. I mean, they're great supporters of the sport, obviously, and um, she thoroughly deserves a win like this. There's one thing for certain, they will not catch Create Belief. Look at this, she's five, six, seven lengths clear. Create Belief has hacked up. Royal Ascot is, is, is the best week of the year. It's a very special, it's magical. And to come back and, 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 and train a winner now, after all those successes as a jockey, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just absolutely thrilled. Quick thorn nearest to us though, with Oshin Murphy has taken it up. And then Raymond Tosh with the red cap has moved through to take second position. But it is Quick Thorn and Oshin who win. Significantly and Clifford Lee have the advantage late on. Most the leader in second position. Boom Shalar in yellow coming very strongly late on. Significantly Boom Shalar. Dream